The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Road game number one is in the books as the Badgers play at Arizona State in the desert. We'll recap that Saturday night matchup with the Pac-12 opponent. We'll talk about a recruiting weekend when the Badgers are home. Give you an idea of what to expect with head coach Gary Anderson. We'll get a tour of the new weight room with strength and conditioning coach Evan Simon. And our senior salute will continue as well. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Sun Devils lead 32-30, but the Badgers are threatening. Abraderas to the left, Frederick to the right. Kenzel Doe, wing left, and now Stavi just rolling to the left of the middle of the field. He drops to a knee. Well, he Badgers drops the try. ball. They were claiming fumble, but I think he got down first. The clock's still running. It's the, the officials are going to have to step in. The game clock is at three, at two, at one. They were dreadfully slow spotting the ball. They never spotted the ball. The clock kept running. It shows zero, and Gary Anderson wants an explanation. What explanation, if any, did you get from uh, from the officiating crew after that last play? None. Absolutely zero. So we snapped the ball with 18 seconds left on the clock. We took a knee and we didn't get a chance to snap the ball again because they laid on it. So, uh, you know, you execute it, you work at it. So I, I got no explanation whatsoever. Just to clarify with rules, I mean, a defensive player is going to do that. I just didn't realize they, can't they, do were, it. they were allowed. I didn't realize they'd be allowed to do that. They can't do that. It's, it's against the rules. You can't right. do that. You can't stop play. That, that rule went out a long time ago. So you can't lay on a football, especially when the ball was sat down on the ground. And the officials told to come up and get it. The kids fall on it, and then away it goes. So I told them I'm going to fight every day for them. Uh, it's hard for me, man. This is an emotional deal for me to lose a game like that because these kids try so hard. You know, I'm going to keep my mouth shut from there, and then away we'll go. But uh, uh, I told them I love them, and we'll battle back. We'll get on the plane. We'll have a quiet plane trip home, and we'll figure out what we got to do to come back and get ready for Purdue. You know, that's something we work on a lot is center the ball. So it's in a good spot for the Cakers, and spike it with five seconds left. And, you know, we centered it, and... Uh, just didn't have time to spike it. You know, I, I put a knee down and set the ball down. In hindsight, I'd like to, you know, make sure I got to hang on to that ball and just hand it to the ref, um, you know, and that's that's what I'm going to learn from this is when you center the ball, don't center it and spot it yourself because that doesn't work. You know, it's disappointing, but there's a lot of learning that comes from it. Um, you know, you learn, everyone says you learn more in the loss than you do in the win, so we're just going to make sure we learn from it um, and prepare hard next week. Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One day, cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. Men love sports, but men can't always be at home with Charter TV watching sports. So men do what men have to do. They watch live ESPN on their mobile devices. Not simulated sports, real sports. Live ESPN, anytime, anywhere, even here. Watch ESPN is available at no extra charge for Charter TV customers. Download the app or visit charter.net slash on the go. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community. 
resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash Dairy Impact Wisconsin. Watch out! Oh my goodness! See you later! Oh no, he didn't! Down the sideline! Bring in the ruckus! Oh! Making him look silly! Uh-oh! Adios, muchachos! Cold blood! He's at the 15! 10! 5! <coughs> oh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. The 429 horsepower Genesis R Spec from Hyundai. Hot sauce! Gordon motions left, takes a jet sweep left to the 20, turns it up, 25, Gordon the 30, cuts outside the numbers to the 40, 45, 50, Gordon to the 40, down the sideline he goes, to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin! Fourth down and five for the Badgers from their own 30. James McGuire snaps and they're going to run a fake Wozniak and they bend it around to Chris Borland who's going to throw it and it's caught across the 40, 45 to the 50 yard line. Jacob Pedersen on the catch and what in the world can't Chris Borland do? First down Wisconsin. Clock running, 120 to play. Badgers have a third and five at their own. Make that a third and four at their own 23-yard line. Stavi to throw. Four-man rush again. Left side pass, back shoulder. And it's caught to the 50, 45-40, 35-30. And down near the 25-yard line of Arizona State is all reliable Jeff Duckworth. He doesn't catch a lot of passes. He just catches them when they matter a lot. You know, our coach just told us, you know, he looked at our our group and said, you know, it's, it's on you guys, you know, make something happen. And right after that, I did. Um, and, uh, we were fighting. We were fighting uh, for, our, for our team, for our fans that came out there. Fortunately, we just came up short. To be touching the win, like it's, it's, it's there, it's in your grasp. And for it to just get taken away like that is... It's unbelievable. It hurts. I don't know if there's anything that Chris Borland can't do. I mean, you need a lot of things that operated on that play, but it's a brilliant play. I don't know how long you've had that one. We've been working on that one, but that worked to perfection, it seems. Yeah, it did. It's a, it's a crucial time. You know, those uh, those plays come up, and it's important to execute them in practice and try to make sure they're prepared for critical moments and critical times when you need them. And Chris and the rest of the team executed it perfectly and it gave us an opportunity to get back into the football game. Coach Jenick, uh, our special teams coordinator on punt, um, saw an opportunity uh, in film. We put it in this week, and uh, we needed all hands on deck uh, for this game. Um, and we saw it, and the opportunity arose, and everybody executed well. So, um, you know, that was a good play. Uh, what's done is done. That doesn't affect the way we're going to practice Monday. Uh, we've got Purdue, and um, we can't control uh, the pass. So it's time to move on. We can still win the Big Ten championship, and that's our goal this year. And um, we're just going to full focus forward. If anything, this is going to propel us into a great week of prep and Big Ten play. Stavi rolling to his right, looks, throws, in zone, it is caught, touchdown Wisconsin, deep right corner of the end zone, and the Badgers take the lead. Badgers are back home on Saturday, the Big Ten opener against the Purdue Boilermakers, a 2.30 kickoff at Camp Randall Stadium, and speaking of home games, uh, you know, recruiting, it, it never ends, I would imagine, even in dead periods, the wheels are always turning. So here's a hypothetical, as much of a stretch as this is. Say I'm that 17-year-old high school phenom, and I'm coming to Madison for a weekend, for a weekend home game. What's, what, what am I in store for? Well, the biggest thing is we want you to get to know the kids on the program. We want to get to know the staff. We um, want you to see the facilities and understand that no matter where you go, they're not going to get any better. We want the game day environment. That's a big part of it. Um, understand the weather in the fall. It's unbelievable here. It's a great place to be. So those are key things. But when you walk in, we're going to hit you with that early. 
Yeah, and then we're going to come back and we're going to go through the academics. World-class education, that's what we talk about all the time, so we're going to show you how we're going to help you get a world-class degree. Secondly, the social life. You know, there's expectations to be a student athlete at Wisconsin, and you know, part of that is understanding what do we do when well, we're involved in the community. You know, you, uh, you're expected to hold yourself up to high standards, and you've got to be able to deal with that and live with it. Athletically, we're going to show you about your position, and then at the end, as we go through the next day, the key is, is to really make sure they feel our family environment, because that's important for us. I'm a little biased. I guess I've been here long enough now, but I think, and you've, you've said this, I think, that you can tell somebody something, but if you get that individual on campus, you can see it. You can see the new locker room now. You see the new weight room. Just getting them in this community can yeah. go a long way. Right? It does. And as they flow through their weekend, not just seeing the facilities, but being involved, uh, just walking around campus, you know, being involved in the game day, how friendly it is. I've heard that five or six times. You know, Last week we had some kids on campus, and the parents were saying, I would feel comfortable with my young man coming to school here and not necessarily just because of football but being in a great college environment and they can't get that unless they're here and they see it firsthand. I know Coach Ryan with basketball always talks about there's competition in athletics and there's competition in the classroom. This is a world-class mm -hmm. university. You touched on it a moment ago, academic services, those folks and, and you've, I'm sure you figured that out yeah. already, how helpful they are for these guys, it, no matter the class rank but especially in your first or second year, that there is a lot of help available. There, there is and it, uh, we meshed our program and uh, between the academic service people and there's so many people down there that are involved it's uh, it's off the charts in the way that they go about things but the, we were able to mesh it and we're, we're a little bit more old school I guess as far as being real hands-on we're still gonna be hands-on but our kids are in great hands because the mentors want to be mentors the tutors want to be tutors the academic support people truly have a care and they're vested and when they walk out of here at five o'clock at night or six o'clock wherever they be they don't forget about the kids and that's what makes it different. Uh, some coaches, uh, I think from the outside, it would appear that some coaches are better in, at the recruiting end of it than, than others. But I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a big part of it with you is the players, the current players. How is a recruit, a potential recruit, going to mesh with the current players? That is huge, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a big part of it. And what I tell them is I can sit in there and I can go sit in the living room. I can sit in my office. I can sit and talk to mom and dad. I can get on the phone or talk to you about whatever I want. But I'm going to tell you the same thing. I mean, the next recruit I talk to is going to be no different than this recruit. The point is, is what I'm telling you better be reflected by the young men in the program when you sit down and talk with them or you're involved with them on your recruiting weekend. If not, then don't come here because I'm not who I say I am. You've coached three games now at Camp Randall. Two is the quote, <laughs> good guys. Uh, give me your impression. I mean, 80,000 people in these last two now, yeah. everybody's been rooting for your, for your team. Yeah. How has that felt to you? It's a tremendous here? environment. Um, you know, jogging out of that tunnel is, is a special time every time. It never changes. It'll continue to be. But uh, the support's there. Educated fans, uh, they want to win. They're excited to be there. It's just a different feel. When you come out of the hotel and you hop on the bus and you just drive through, it's, uh, you can feel it just as before you even get close to the stadium. That it's, it's a different day. Maybe because you walk out, it's so quiet. It's like, where is everybody? Right. Well, they're over here. <laughs> so, but it's, it's, it's been awesome. And um, I know that my family's been here, and, and they sure enjoyed it also. All right, and things ramp up for the Wisconsin Badgers as Big Ten play begins. We mentioned Purdue coming to Camp Randall Saturday. Kickoff set for 2.30 right here in Madison. Coach Anderson rejoins us in a few minutes for this week's great game, great question of the week as the Badger Sports Report continues. Men love sports, but men can't always be at home with Charter TV watching sports. So men do what men have to do. They watch live ESPN on their mobile devices. Not simulated sports, real sports. Live ESPN, anytime, anywhere, even here. Watch ESPN is available at no extra charge for Charter TV customers. Download the app or visit charter.net slash on the go. Here is a story I'd like to impart, a tale of a little girl's sick, ailing heart. It begins with her doctor and favorite nurse, then on to her blankie and polka dot purse. As we are the UW, it is doubly true. We have gizmos and gadgets all shiny and new. With talents and skill and brain power galore, we fixed Kennedy's heart, so she is sick no more. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Let's get in there and sell some cars. Hey, coach. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big day, guys. Let's get out there and compete all day long. Let's go. Toyota and Coach Anderson, big fans of each other. 
Get an amazing 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2013 Camry or lease Camry for $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Snap, it goes right through him, a ground ball inside the five-yard line. It's still loose and covered up at the goal line, a big old pile. Will it be a first down, a safety, or a touchdown? It'll be a touchdown for the Badgers. You know, I think usually what we do when we bring recruits into this room, the first thing I point out to them is I'll tell them a little bit about our program, what we're looking to achieve. You know, first and foremost in the Coach Aronson program, it's about the player first from a standpoint of, you know, and it's my goal and it's our strength staff's goal to make sure that, you know, we're going to develop you to be the best possible football player you can, but at the same time, too, it's our responsibility, you know, whether it's mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, you know, it's our job to make sure that, you know, we're fulfilling that adult role in their life, you know, so I want to make sure they know what they need from us, they'll get, but, you know, the biggest thing I sell is our attitude and the way we train, and we believe, you know, we're a continuation of what it was here before, where we're one of the hardest working programs in the country. And, you know, there's little intangibles involved in our training that, you know, other schools don't hold people accountable to. And, you know, when you come in here, you're going to be a hardworking, accountable, challenged, but cared for athlete. You know, and I kind of tell them that out there in the hallway because what we do with our players is traditionally when we're in the winter and summer off season, we'll take role in that hallway. And once the doors open, we're unleashing the beast and it's time to come in here and get after it. And so we'll walk them through the room through our warm-up and cardiovascular area first because that's where our workouts start. You know, I point out that one of the great things that was designed in this room is when you run down that, that gray Mondo flooring ramp, that's the same color ramp that we run out to take the field on game day. And it transitions into a green football Mondo flooring field in here in our warm-up area. So it's just like the guys running out and taking the field in Camp Randall every time we come in the training. Get up there, work your way, work your way, work your way. Let's go! Let's go! You can see the legacy of what was built here, you know, with, with previous seasons, previous coaching staffs, and it shines through in this room. It's a 17,500 square foot room. We have uh, the areas of the room divided up into different areas to really help with workflow. We have a warm up and cardiovascular and recovery area. We have a rack area, which has 20 half racks uh, with a variety of different lifting bars. Uh, we can, you know, perform. Olympic lifts, traditional power lifts, all kinds of lifts in between the gauntlet there in that area. We have a, a variety of upper body posterior chain equipment in that area as well. Six lap pull down machines, six hammer row machines, six adjustable box jump boxes to work plyometrics to activate the fast twitch muscles of the body. Uh, as you transition from that area through the rest of the room, we have a nutrition area which is state of the art, second to none in my opinion, and what really makes this nutrition area special is this housed right in the flow of the weight room. We have our sports nutritionist staff right here in the weight room, so you know she's easily accessible to our athletes and they need nutritional guidance, information, and things from her. As you transition through the nutritional area, you know, you have uh, you know our uh, I call it our accessory area, our you know our supplementation or equipment supplementation area from the standpoint of we have our dumbbells there, dumbbells from 5 to 180 pounds, kettlebells from 17 to 80 pounds. We have uh, 12 adjustable dumbbell benches, eight adjustable step up or single leg squat boxes. We have uh, six reverse hyper machines, which highlight the posterior chain of your low back and glutes, hamstrings. We have uh, six glute ham raised benches, which is a great device for the posterior chain as well, glutes, hamstrings, calves. Uh, six Russian leg curl benches, which hit the hamstrings in a great way uh, to stress those, not only the muscle, but the ligaments and tendons of the body. Uh, we have what I refer to as our little mini rehab area in conjunction with our athletic training room, where we have a leg press machine, a leg extension machine, two four-way hip machines, and uh, we have uh, all coming off the wall pillars in that section of the room as well. We have two uh, lifeline uh, resistance tubing you know, pulley devices that you can do a variety of different movements with. Uh, we have two Cybex cable machines in that area as well. You can do a variety of exercises with, you know. So really, you know, from A to Z, this room has everything you need. After that pec stretch, sideline adduction, adduction, bottom leg, toe position. You know, one of the best benefits of the room, I believe, is that, you know, not only the equipment in it, 
not only the staff that works extremely hard to develop these athletes and the athletes work ethic as they come through, but just the general spacing of the room as well, the space in between racks, the space in our warm-up area, the space in our auxiliary area where those you know, pieces of equipment I just described are. You know, that space to allow you to get good flow of your athletes, do some different things in between some of your main movements during your workout, and not you know, crunch up the room and inhibit movement and space. You know, to be able to do a variety of things from mobility exercises, prehabilitative exercises, integrated with your main movements really makes a big difference of what these guys are able to accomplish and really you know, focus on our time management as well as their work capacity and you know, their strength training as well. You got one, three. One, two, three. Get up. I have a little, a little different story. I've been a manager here for, for a few years, so I've um, been to the team for a little bit different reason for three years. Been uh, through all the winning seasons, so I have that kind of experience, and I know how things work around here. And now that I'm in, in, the, in the shoulder pads and the helmet, it's a uh, it's a blessing, you know, I'm just going to have fun and enjoy it. Probably about a year ago now, exactly a year ago, they, they kind of they asked me about it and gave me the okay, and so I started kind of training, put on a little bit of weight because I knew I had to gain some weight. So, you know, I'm out here catching balls all the time with the guys, and it was always, you know, it'd be fun to throw in a helmet, but it was never, it was never a possibility. It was never a thought, it was never anything. And, you know, I just kind of playing around catching balls. The coaches saw me and they're like, hey, you know, you can catch a ball pretty well. I'm like, yeah, you know, I can. And ran, just kind of ran around for him a little bit, and it was, Luke Swan helped me out a lot, and you know it was, it was a dream come true. I called my mom and dad. I you know, told my dad to put me on speakerphone, and told my both my parents, and it was just like it was surreal. Like even for me, I never for my three years here, I was the most satisfied, happiest kid in the world, being a part of all everything. You know, um, traveling every single game, and it was just surreal for me. And then all of a sudden, they're like, you know, you can play here. It's like you know, it's just kind of like wow. You know, being able to call, call my parents and tell them that was the greatest feeling in the world. Sitting in my locker for the first time was just the greatest feeling in the world. The walk-on tradition is huge. There's a lot of good, good players. You know, Jared Zuliger in his scholarship. All those guys are just great guys that were once walk-ons. And you know, here I am, late walk-on, kind of a different thing. But I'm here to help help out the team. You know, the coaches think I can, so I'm here to help out the guys and help everybody get better. Receivers are very good, pretty deep. We got a lot of good, solid guys. Um, wherever wherever I fit in, whether it's a scout team, I'm, I'm willing to accept my role. You know, I'm that kind of guy. I'm not. I'm going to fight for a spot. I'm going to fight, you know, wherever it is on the scout team, or the special teams, whatever it is. You know, I'm, I'm ready to help these guys get better. Help they're going to help me get better. So. The guys know how to do the right thing around here, and showing a lot of the kids that are new to the program, you know, how to do that. So it's a good experience, good, uh, good leaders for us. You know, as a manager, I've known the guys really well. I've been with them at practice all the time, and I've traveled with them. And you get, a, you, you really get on a personal level with a lot of the guys. And once they knew I was going to join the team, it was they were open with welcome, you know open arms and it was just the coolest thing how they all reacted to me they want me to you know, help me help me get better and um, it's kind of the theme around here i only have one year of this so i'm just gonna take soak it all in you know i want this fall to be the longest fall of my life but i don't want it to end you know <laughs> hey give it back come back when we have a team <laughs> okay Gather your team, the new seven passenger Santa Fe. One day, cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. As a strength and conditioning coach to some of Wisconsin's top athletes, people always ask me, what's the secret to top performance? I always tell them that what happens after your workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. 
and you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications, by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, by Hyundai, by Adidas, and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's Great Dane, Great Question of the Week, and it comes from Rick here in Madison. And he is he is an observant fan. He has noticed and he really enjoys the fact that as a team comes out of the tunnel before the game, there is a young man carrying the American flag. Mm -hmm. It's Bo Allen. Uh, how do you go about choosing the guy who's going to carry the flag? Well, Rick, we came up with uh, the idea, just uh, uh, something that kids wanted to do, and I felt like it was very important to you know be able to to get that done and. It's just to show respect again. But how do we do it? Uh, strongest guy in an arm wrestling contest. So uh, I really don't know how we came. Bo, I talked to Bo about it, and he was so excited about the opportunity. Uh, he carried it on the first one, and I think he's going to carry that on. I told him, I said, now, if you want to carry it to the next guy and kind of pick a guy to do it the next time, that would be great. Um, I didn't know if he did that or not until um, I was informed today that he ran out a second time. So apparently it's going to be his job. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know. Somebody wants the flag, you got to take it away from Bo Allen. And good luck with that if you want to try to do that. Rick, we thank you for your question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison, the east side of town, downtown, Hilldale, as well as Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a home for Coach Anderson's radio show on Thursday nights at 7. Remember, there's a great game in Wausau as well. One more reminder, Big Ten play starts this Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium as Wisconsin takes on the Purdue Boilermakers. Hope to see you here at the camp. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Congratulations, you've got yourself a new Toyota. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Woohoo! Toyota and Coach Anderson, big fans of each other. Right now, get an amazing 0.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2013 RAV4. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.